internet, it's Dmitry, senior software photographer and today I'm gonna show you how I organize my film development stuff like all the things I have, chemicals, uh, all the tanks, all the additional uh, cups and stuff and thermometers and everything I have basically in one box what do I have? I have C41 chemistry. It goes like that. And this is the stabilizer I use for both E6 and C41. Then I have um, my E6 chemistry. It goes right there. And I think those are Kaiser uh, bottles. I will put uh, everything in the description in case you're really interested in what I'm using and then I also have a Patterson tank with basically whoops, two spirals in it and by the color you can tell that this is the color <laughs> spiral and this is the black and white spiral I don't mix them I always use this for black and white and this for color development uh, so basically bleach is what, uh, well, let's say, may, uh, makes it uh, yellow. And I just scratched this one to, so, to distinguish, but I mean, over time you can, you can just tell which is which. Uh, and I don't mix them because uh, plastic tends to, you know, uh, soak chemicals and then uh, it like contaminated Forever. So basically I will over time just throw away those spirals and buy new ones. So this goes somewhere here and this is the agitation rod and I also put like uh, this little thingy here and um, what I also have I have uh, a lot of rodinol. Uh, well this is the not like the original recipe but I mean anyways. Um, and I also have like this IKEA, I, yes it is IKEA container I use for stabilizing stuff and it goes somehow like, like this and I don't really have any kind of a setup I just put, oh yeah sorry this is the uh, Edoflow uh, for basically my black and white last wash a little measure cup. Uh, it ca it came with the uh, with the black and white starter kit that I basically started on my journey with, and then I used this thermometer. This is like a basic one. I modified it with this like old pen and this clip to just. I mean, I do this a lot. I just don't buy thing if I can make it. So uh, I mean. I had this pen lying around, I had this clip, so I just put everything together and uh, yeah, it works. And I actually like uh, this one better than the digital one, I think they are more accurate, um, so yeah, I trust them more. And yeah, analog wins, guys. So that's pretty much it. Um, then I always keep uh, those uh, instructions, so this is the let's say um, yeah this is both C41 and E6 instructions they go somewhere here and then I have my changing bag I usually just fold it so that uh, it, it takes less space and then I just put it somewhere like this and then I just close the lid and it's done. So basically this is my uh, film lab in a box. Let's say of course I have um, let's say black and white chemicals and those chemicals I store separately because it's like five liters of x -tol and uh, like one liter of fixer so I store them separately they just wouldn't fit in this box but basically that's it. If, um, and I think if I would use just uh, Radinol, which is like here, 
I could actually put like extra bottle with a fixer here and then it would be pretty much it. Uh, so like self-contained box and actually it's really convenient to have it. Uh, yeah, you can also use it uh, if you need to do something with your fridge. You can just store your films there because it will keep them cold um, in the meantime. And I actually did this today, so my wife asked me to uh, free some space in uh, in the freezer for like a shorter period of time. And I just took everything out, uh, my film, I put it there, I put like a towel uh, on top and it actually kept my field nice and cold during like several hours because these boxes are made for keeping um, stuff uh, yeah at this like the temperature of the stuff either cold or hot so that's basically it guys uh, thanks for watching and i see you next time